We are here up on Walden Ridge in Cup Creek. Way back 10 years ago in 2014, I collected the last laurel dace right here in this part of this stream. We really want to see what fishes are currently occupying these streams. And then also we're going to compare the microhabitat of Cup Creek to the microhabitat of creeks where laurel dace are doing great to see if we have similar kind of habitat for potentially reintroducing laurel dace in the future. The laurel dace is in real trouble. 12 years ago, it was found in five streams. It's now down to two. So it's a critically endangered fish. The laurel dace is so rare, we wouldn't want to move two or 300 fishes, even 10 or 15 fishes, from where they're doing well to here because the stakes are just too high. They're so critically imperiled. We don't want to put laurel dace in a stream where they may not survive. So we will use the much more common western black nose dace instead of the laurel dace to do that and to test to see how well a minnow can do in this stream. So essentially we're acting as the real estate agent for these fish. We're trying to find what do they prefer, what are they looking for, what kind of home do they want, and we're trying to provide that for them before we put them back into the stream. We're trying to look at it from the fish's viewpoint. So we always walk up on a stream and the first thing we look at is, you know, oh, there's, there's good pool riffle run habitat, and we think that that's really important to a fish. But when we start looking underwater, we start seeing what the fish actually sees. We're trying to get as small of data as we can and try to see what the numbers are telling us for what type of habitat those fishes are using. We are finding and identifying a certain number of pools and within those pools we will take certain microhabitat measurements. Okay, what you got? Substrate. We will take a certain number of substrate measurements. We use this little PVC square that defines a foot by foot area. We just lay it down on the bottom and we would say something like Within this square, there's 20% boulder, 30% sand, and the rest cobble. We also take a measurement for canopy cover to see how much of the canopy of the stream is actually covered by trees. We also are trying to identify how much silt is in these pools because siltation can be a real problem for these fish. The goal for this project is to compare those habitats where Laurel dace are still living and surviving to this habitat where laurel dace are no longer found. To the naked eye, these streams look pretty healthy. This stream that we're standing in today, we think it looks okay, we think it looks like the laurel dace should be able to live here, but once we get that data, that fine microhabitat data, we'll be able to see from the numbers, maybe are there differences between this stream and a stream where the laurel dace does live. <laughs>